Hello, and welcome back to another series of Real The Wave 2. Yeah, I'm still enjoying this, so I'm going to keep playing. But this time I'm going to go for a bit of a tougher... I'm going to go for Austria-Hungary. Um, yeah, so, as you can see, they're basically a quarter of the budget. Um, dock size is small, cautious. Yeah, triple tourism tech. Do. Um, historical resources. I am going full on hard mode. Um, very technology I like very technologies. Um, I won't give the AI an advantage at this point. Alright, when it's finished loading up. Hey, we're in. We're in positive. So, oh, we have a Kaiser class battleship, which is 900 ton, 9,000 tons, not bad actually, 9 inch, 3 9 inch guns, 10 to 6 inch armour, probably got something more uh, open design, short range, cramped, um, we got three of those. Two nine inch guns on five and a half inch for an armor cruise. Not terrible again. Center class ten six inch guns. A lot of cent six inch guns. And then two twelve three inch. Enter. Wrong one again. Got two front inch ink turrets, and a wing turrets, and a bunch of non turret kid guns. Guns and just they've got turrets without guns. That's just weird. Um, you know, destroyers are Panther and Leopard class, and they're going to be pretty standard. Guppy do tubes. Do tubes. Nine inch guns, eight inch under the um, it's like Franz Ferdinand, and I think that's Carl Kaiser Carl. Yeah, actually, I expected worse to be honest. Um, yeah, not building any larger docks, get a research set. Torpedo. Um, with this, I am basically currently limited to two bases in Northern Europe. I'm going to need to fight Italy, France, or expand. You can guess from the almanac. That is not going to end very well. France, Italy is a chance. France is a chance. Britain's just no chance. All I need to do is fight Italy, take Korea, then maybe Germany for Tanganyika. America, if I can get to America. But for, to begin with, really not much cast to play with, so we'll see how we go. Oh, also, my prank, I'll talk you suck. Alright. Everyone's laying down ships. Don't expect the first few months to be very interesting. I'm going to build the expanded docks 
Just for the moment, I'm kind of waiting for technology. Okay, thank you. I think I just balanced everything out. Burn through this. Fleet tactics. You know what? Do this, but... Oh, that's the other thing I was going to go to. I have lost my chance to do it here. Oh, I was going to change the options to... Um, that might be in preferences. Maybe. Admiral's mode. So basically, I'm not allowed to grab my little destroyers and move them around. I think I'm mostly going to be building destroyers. Probably a bad thing. Nope, 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 nope. And then I'll get another battleship. And then I'm going to see about designing an actual good pre dreadnought. Guns I've got 11 inches, that's not terrible. Forward, aft, power forward. Oh, no, I can't do A and B's. 13,000 tons. Go full bad knot. Alright, oh, I'm only allowed to single turrets there. Please talk to forward and aft. Okay. Make a 20 knots. Short range. I'm actually going to push it to medium range. Because I need somebody who can fight outside my fear of it. Um, once. Round the gun. It's six inch, twelve of them. An inch on the belt at this point. One extended. So I'm going to have to start making cuts. So, I'm massively overweight. Get away with like a 9 inch conning tower. Okay, 19, I can, I can over 19 knots. See, it's my 10 inch turret. Right, playing range finder with two fire positions. Okay, it just needs a name. Oh, perhaps fair class battleship, I like that. Right, she's gonna break the bank. Yeah, just one level, we've got crop armor. Oh, 
brushes on the ATS. Range finder. Right. Just about for two of these. Then, once I've got two decent battleships, in, I'll concentrate on a bunch of light cruisers, I think. Twenty-seven months. Alright, new docks complete. I'm not having any money. Eesh. For the prestige, a bit of tension. Right. Germany apparently loves this. Right. I think I've got a bit of cash floating. I'll expand the docks again. Building build them in New York. Yep, we can afford that. Do I want a naval conference? It would wrap my um, Habsburgs, most likely. But I think I'm going to be better off for this. Okay. No, I would have been better off. Marine reliability. Submarine reliability always fires before submarines. I have no idea why. Dropping with America. Alright, so, no more 50,000 tons, no more than 10 inch and 17 years. Perhaps those, got three of theirs. Right. Oh. No. 15,000 tons, 10 inch guns. Uh, we've got A and Y, so A, D, right, I can't do that because I can't, yeah, forward and aft, double, Seven inches. And if we make a second group to eight, and go for the um, like my heavy cruisers in the Japanese game. I put in ten of these. I put them in double turrets. Make it back up to nineteen knots. Belt, 10 inch turrets, two and a half on the top, one and a half for secondaries, protect against splinters, two on the deck, one on the deck expanded, about two on the belt extended, about six on the conning tower, actually, medium range. inch out 16 of those I have a 
quite a lot of weight remaining. Oh, because I haven't given ammo to these guns. Right. Well, that's a lot of 8 inch guns. That's when I think it looks funny. Um, we'll stop there and then reduce the weight down from there. Right, two million a month. These are the new hat the class. Legal second equality five. Oh, I don't have eight inch guns. I have seven inch. Seven inch is good. That also frees, frees up a few times. Double turret seven inch, six inch. All right, cool. Now again, shall we? Alright, she's no longer as sexy as she was before. But they're becoming cheaper. Guns, yeah. Alright, so if I just increase the weight a little bit and have single turrets. Could increase the armor, but at this point I'd rather have two cheapish battleships than a bunch of others. All right, everyone's going to be throwing down bad knots soon. How low attention to the U.S.? I really don't want to be fighting the U.S. I realise what I haven't done, I haven't put all my ships in reserve. Right. Let's order two of this class. And then we shall put... Our entire fleet to the reserve fleet. Can't save us that much money, is it? It's enough to keep us building those battleships a little bit longer. Yep, Italy, I definitely want a war with Italy. Back into black, that's good. Yeah, everyone's throwing down a bunch of um, weird armored cruisers now. New docks are completed. Italy. Right. So yeah, the main aim for Italy would be to take Futuri and Gisgesis out, or maybe a couple of African things. Yeah, looking forward to boost tension for Russia. Hey, finding a lid like Alright, design ship. Cruiser. Two knots is a bit slow. Twenty five knots. Slightly less ammo. You do not need that many secondary guns. Too much popsicles, aren't they? Pop guns.
But we add 600 tons to make a I want a long range ship, I want something that's good for raiding. I know she's a relatively expensive, but no idea why that exists. Anything that gives me budget at this point. Hundred and ninety six months left on the treaty. Alright, double bottoms. Drop tension again. Mainly tension with the US, I'm not interested in tension with the US. Oh, like forcing torpedo warfare. That is what I am all about. So far we've got two lots of turrets already. Mm, that's nice. This is budget, that's good. I think I should have some should have built these ships somewhere else to steal technology. That's actually a good price. Uh, do 8 inch do actually have a use in like cruisers? I may have avoided war for this long actually. Coastal submarines. Get a few of those going. Oh, great. Lose the prestige. Or go to war with Russia. Okay. All ships to active fleet. Remaining light cruiser. Raider. Five of the small ships to raid protection. It's going to be an odd war because all my ships are short range pretty much. Um, let me eat him. I could send out the Kaiser Carls. What happens? Oh, secondary wing toys are up to 10. Now I could have put that, build that ship I wanted. Divine to minefields. Thinking, here we go. Enemy coastal raid. They have come to us. We only have a couple of armored cruisers. But get used to this shot because this is where these are only bases. It's where we're going to be fighting for most of this war. Before we're driving into that bit of land. behind us. Buying on the transport. Here we go. Let's 
Thunker Merchant. No, it's only the Zova. Uh, two Natch guns. Ancient guns, so. About half an inch of armour in it. Except I've got two and he's got one. Side on her getting the hits in. in this range, whoever hits the most is going to win. Our armor is pretty similar. Read about the um. Drack just took a massive hit then. We have to hope that she's taking as much damage. About to run into the um the anti. Flooding at this point I'm not too worried about the bee. That was a mistake for her. Right. Where's my port? I'm wondering about breaking off and see if we can cut this um I don't want to lose this ship, so let's just oh, yeah, we'll just head back to Paul. And then we can get a ship in. Not sure where mine destroys it. Chance of running into them again. But it definitely looks like Russia is doing a bit of force projection. Something I can't do because all my battleships are short range. Set for port. Right. Minor victory for us, just we did a bit more damage. Didn't sink anyone, just lost auxiliary. A bit more damage and um well, our transport survived. Alright, so, hopefully you're enjoying this, um, please like, subscribe, insult me, you know, the, the usual shebang, and I'll see you next time.